coming to America was this, the smartest thing I've done in my life because, I, you know, you have to be in movement, in my opinion. If you're still somewhere, nothing's going to happen. You know, if I continue staying here, this was Paris, France, um, I'm just going to continue filming at 4 o'clock in the morning with an idiot that wrote a script with rain falling over my head. And I needed to get out of there, so I decided to move my life to America. And it changed everything. I went to uh, the University of San Francisco and graduated in uh, business and administration. But really, I think deep, deep inside of me, I wanted to be in the arts, you know, and it's, it, I just didn't do those studies. So I had to learn by myself. And uh, you had some extra curriculum in the university, like makeup. So I, 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 I learned makeup. But, you know, to do what you want to do is, is never a straight road. At night, I would um, join this group that was called Video West, and we did, uh, uh, um, we recorded, um, we did music videos, if you want. We recorded, um, this, it was the new wave time. I remember holding a cable, it was just the beginning of my life, you know, on a Ted Nugent concert. And the cameraman was ahead of me, but I was holding the cable, you know. And I saw these million, it sounded like, it was, it was the, um, I think the, the, the giant stadium is where it was. It's crazy. And I thought, wow, I'm, I'm made for this. I have to do this, you know. It's much more fun than anything else. At the uh, Cannes Film Festival, I hosted a cocktail, um, at which um, we had um, a, a signature between the Producers uh, Guild of America and the equivalent of the French Producers Guild that I had uh, identified. And so we had a little ceremony with a, with a signature. And um, the, the person was the, the French side, the person who was signing, said to me, um, hey, you, do you know uh, Thomas Langman? Um, he is uh, going to, uh, he's preparing to shoot a film in uh, Los Angeles you should contact him. And I had no idea how to contact him. I, I didn't have his phone number or anything. And it was, uh, I was leaving the next day for Paris and then the following day for LA. And so I sort of, you know, I took note of it. And um, I asked a few around and I sort of didn't know how um, to, con to contact this person. But at the airport the next day, I saw a producer who had worked with Thomas Langman in uh, the previous year, and I knew him. And so I said, uh, hey, uh, apparently there's, a, there's this project going on. Do you have his phone number? And he said, uh, yeah, you know, to make the story short. And then I, uh, I called right away, you know, and I was going to board a plane. And he said, um, so, okay, where are you? And I said, well, I'm at the airport and I'm leaving for Paris. And he said, are you going to be there tomorrow? I said, yes, only in the morning. I, I, I fly in the afternoon. So, well, let's meet in the morning. And we met and he said, you're hired. And, um, and I came back to LA and I said to my wife, I think I have a job, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Because that's all it was, you know, and um, and then it happened, you know.